Today we take a look at the messaging hub on Ratio's launcher and I'm really excited to finally showcase it to you. So let's get started. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jose and here we talk about digital minimalism. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to subscribe. Finally, I'm able to publish this video. I've been making this video for a couple of weeks now. I've been testing the tree for about five weeks at the point of this recording. And a little bit of a disclaimer, I'm recording this in the middle of November. So whenever you see this, it's a little bit outdated, but this may be the first public release version. So I'm not expecting it to have a lot of changes, but if it has a lot of changes, I'll be making some comments here and here and everywhere. So the tree set up very easy, very seamless as you used to with the ratio launcher. You're able to quickly get into the ratio launcher as soon as you subscribe either to the monthly or yearly subscription. You also have a trial available to you. So if you just want to try it out before you purchase anything, then you can try it out. And what are you trying out exactly? Well, let's get to the tree. You're able to see it here. You're able to see all of your conversations at once. Once you sign in into the proper WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, or Telegram applications, those are the four that are supported as of right now. There will be more coming, but as of right now, those are the four ones that are supported. And essentially you have different options in the settings. You can delete the conversations, show the walkthrough, use the ratio notifications, message actions, reply suggestions, mark conversations as read or delete tags. What I like about this is that you're able to toggle them on and off for the different apps without having to go into that specific app. So if you want to not show your messages as read on WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram, and Facebook all at once, you're able to toggle it there. I think that's a very big advantage if you just want to showcase or maintain that privacy or you just want to reply later but the best best feature that I have found when it comes to the settings is just the focus hours and auto replies so let's say you're working on a big project or you're studying for a big exam or maybe you just want to spend some time with family or you just want to sleep you don't want to be disturbed you put the focus hours all of the notifications from those four apps are automatically canceled and then you get the auto reply feature just to make sure that your family doesn't get concerned. Why is he not replying? Why is he not, you know, getting back to us? Well, you're able to reply and say, hey, I'm in do not disturb right now. I'll be able to reply later. But you're able to do that for all the apps. So if you receive anything from Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, or WhatsApp, you're able to reply automatically to all your contacts in just one application, in just one place, which is the messaging hub from the tree. I think that's just a genius implementation that allows you to get way more than the individual applications get. And of course, there's more applications coming in the future, which makes this even a sweeter deal. Now let's get to the main page. And in the main page, you're able to see all of your conversations, of course, provided that you have signed on. And in your main conversations, you're able to sort them out. You're able to pin the most important people at the top of the conversations, like in the same way that you're able to pin your most important cards at the top of the route and in the other parts of the launcher, which again, it's very good. It's it's very nice and you're able to access your loved ones or the most important people very quickly. On top of that, you have sorting abilities, sorting abilities within all the apps. So like, let's say that you have a Facebook group for work and you also have a WhatsApp group that's different, but it's also for work. And then you're able to create a tag. You create a tag for work with a nice little emoji and you're able to sort them quickly. You press the tab that you want to get to and it automatically clears all of your messages and only showcases those that are necessary right here. So that is a very nifty feature. Something again, like the Blackberry messaging hub, but on steroids, it allows you for more customization, more stability and more functionality overall. So you're able to sort through the tag delete the tags and you're able to change those and you're also able to tag different people for different things so let's say you have a family member that also works with you you can put family and work for that specific person and whenever you sort for family he will show up and whenever you sort for work you also shows up and if you have different people for different things you're able to you know manage it according to your preferences now I've been using the tree and it has a very good functionality. You're able to receive MMS, you're able to receive all of the links and different things. It has a couple of things not available, especially for Telegram, like the stickers or things that are a little bit trivial, but the main things do work. And that is just amazing to see. I'm also using Ratio 4. I'll be doing a walkthrough of Ratio 4 a little bit later. So not on this video, this video is just about the tree. So let me give you my final thoughts for the tree. 
When it comes to the usability, it's very nice to use, very well designed. But I think the worthiness of the tree comes in allowing you to have all of your conversations, not only from those four apps, but the ones that are going to be coded into the future in one place. That functionality allows you to set up productivity guidelines for you and for your work and for your projects that you're doing and not be distracted. The focus hours and the auto replies, I think are the best features that I have found when you're able to toggle them, select the hours and everything that you're able to do within the settings. I think that feature alone is worth the money from you to go to block and to the racial launcher. I think that feature allows me specifically to be more productive, to just be focused and you know not be concerned about all of these messages that are coming and people not be concerned that I'm not responding, but just give them a blanket statement. Hey, I'm focusing on this project. I'll get back to you within this time frame. I think that feature alone is worth it, but all of the other customization, being able to start conversations, being able to pin messages, being able to get to the nitty gritty to your work to your family members in a quick second from all the messaging apps, I think it's worth it. So it has my fullest recommendation for yearly subscriptions and for monthly subscriptions. And if you have a Block 018, you're able to get a lifetime subscription. And if you participated in the giveaway, you may be able to win it as well. I don't know if this video has been published after the giveaway or before, but if you're the lucky winner, congratulations, you have a lifetime subscription for me. But keep an eye on different developments from Blocks Ratio. I'll be doing a walkthrough video of Ratio 4, a long video that has all the features from Ratio 4, the translucent mode, you're able to see it here a little bit, and all of the other things. So stay tuned to the channel. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them down below and I'll be able to reply to the best of my knowledge. And if you need anything else, just let me know. Have a great day. See you in the next one.